Love, love, love. Just need it, okay. Sweet. Brian, are you here? I'm here. I'm here. I'm hearing a little bit of background noise from somewhere. It's not me because I have no music. I have nothing in the background. Are you hearing like a little bit of music? Yeah, it's not TV me. or music or something. It's not me. Well, here, let me pull this over a little bit. Maybe it's because it's in the wrong direction here. My wife's watching TV. Maybe just a little. Not a lot, just a little. That's okay. I just uh, I just was hearing something. I didn't know if it was on my end or not. Just double checking. Is that better? Can you hear it now? That's good. That's good. That's good, Brian. That's good. <laughs> Party on. Yes. See how many people are watching. We got four. Wow. We have four nice. People. Four people. The four horsemen. Let me see if I can Did do you a see little. That? Did you see that? If we only had rewind, he literally hold up. He held up the symbol of excellence. He knew exactly what it was. Don't hate. Don't hate people. Don't. <laughs> you don't know what that means. Don't talk to me ever again. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, get out of here. That's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. So anyway, welcome to uh, the live stream tonight, everyone watching and tuning in. We want to thank Bearded Motivation, Mr. Dave, for keeping Scott educated, as he usually does every thank week. You, Dave. Thank you, Dave. I'm here you, for you guys. You have to be smarter than the than the device that you that you use, and apparently you all know that ain't the case right here. So that's all right. <laughs> so who all's in here? Let's see. Let's see. We got bearded, um, oh, I see uh, the Blessed Beardsman in here. Hey, Jason. Oh, wow. Blessed Beardsman. It's been a while, brother. That's yeah, a new guy. We got a new guy. We got, so his new name is now New Guy. That's his name. Nice. <laughs> we we have the Barden in here. We have Fix from Sweden. Ben Taft claimed first today, people. And there's your proof in writing. He claimed it. So <laughs> we got Beardonomics in here. We got Gary Lewis, Bearded Joey Hookham. We got 16 people and two thumbs up. Let's change that, people. Let's get some thumbs up on this on this live stream. You heard Joey Hookham. He said it. He wrote it right there. Do you see it? Oh, wait. No, he didn't. Never mind. What's that? <laughs> to hit the thumbs up. I was kidding. I was making a joke. It's good to see you in here, Jason, the Blessed Beers, but it's been a while. We miss you in the community, man. But anyway, yeah. anyway everybody, welcome to the live stream. If you don't know, this is Dave from Bearded Motivation right there. And over there on that side over there, that's Brian from Beards and Banjos. Get you guys some introduce yourselves, gentlemen. Wouldn't yeah. that blow your mind if I picked up my acoustic guitar and played that right now? Because it's right here beside me. <laughs> I'll grab my banjo and we'll have us a duel. <laughs> my name's Dave, Bearded Motivation. Anybody that doesn't know me. I think I know everybody in here, but just in case. And I have a YouTube, just like just like Scott and uh, Beards and Banjos, and definitely uh, appreciate these guys. They do a lot in the community. So, And I'm Brian. I've got a YouTube channel and on Instagram, Beards and Banjos. Uh, I do product reviews, but I also have a, a beard advice series. So instead of doing a bunch of different tips and tricks videos, I kind of work them into having guys send me their pictures and I kind of do um, uh, a little bit of styling advice that everybody can learn from. I've, I've been fortunate enough to have these these two guys send me their pictures, and they've been featured, so that's been fun. Uh, I've gotten behind on my uh, doing them. I got to do a couple more of them, uh, but it's good to be here. Uh, first time ever on Scott's channel. Now I've been in the chat a lot, but it's good to see Scott uh, being able to uh, run the stream yard now, and you know the way they've changed the YouTube stuff is working pretty well. Thank you to Dave for keeping the stream yard on the Beer Times channel going. Thank that guy right there. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get this pointing thing down. Just wait. I know, right? You just got to make sure. See, that's Brian. 
and that's you. So left is or right is left and left is right. <laughs> Bob Ross is right there. See, look, wait a minute. There's Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Man, he's always dude. in the stream. There's never a mistake. It's just a chance to make a better opportunity. You know what I mean? Happy trees, people. That's all I'm saying. Sometimes for Mr. Dave, you gotta have positive energy. You just have to have it. There it is, man. There it is. <laughs> so anyway, tonight we are uh we are going to be releasing a new product from Damn Yankee Beer Company. If you don't know anything about this company, we may not we may not be able to be friends anymore. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Tonight we're talking about Cavendish. This is phenomenal. This is now uh, before I go too deep into it, I want to make it very clear: I am not a pipe tobacco smoker of any kind, but I have smelled pipe tobacco that is almost identical to this. I have coworkers that smoke pipes and they're like you know check it out check it out so i'll smell it and to my knowledge i think cavendish is like a pipe tobacco scent or flavor brian am i right correct and i don't even know what the hell this is like you know the actual scent others oh, pipe tobacco in it but that's all you need in it that's what i wanted yeah that's exactly what i wanted this Very literally true. smells like if you fire up a pipe a, a pipe and smoke it. You know, there, I don't want to say it stupidly, but it, it literally is a very nice blend of pipe tobacco. I like this a lot. Yeah, and it doesn't really smell like it does smell like smoke. It smells like the, the tobacco part of it. Yeah, this this smells like an actual like leaf of tobacco, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's that sounds like it smells amazing. It does. Uh, if you've tried the CTV, the Cedar Tobacco Vanilla, which was one of my favorite for months, I think probably six months, this was my number one scent. Um, you get a lot of the smell that you get to, to start with, but it doesn't have that cedar. The cedar in this one kind of takes over after the initial pipe tobacco. Uh, this one is just pipe tobacco and it's really, really nice. Yes, it is. Um, we were we were fortunate enough. We got uh, the first tester Saturday. And this one, this one, this one was different. It had a little bit of a chocolate undertone to it. I picked up on it immediately. I know Brian did too. And wasn't saying anything, anything bad about this at all, but it is almost very similar to pipe bomb. And Brian said it himself and Pete changed it. And I don't want to give away the scent profile. I'll let him do that if he jumps in here. But this literally it's it's a night and day difference when he took if when, it, when he took the chocolatey undertone out of it that's awesome uh gary just bought three oil and butter sets that's cool uh, you have to ask pete he hasn't said anything about it um pete is supposed to be in the live stream he said he was going to be said he was going to be running late because he was finishing up work so i'm expecting him to be here probably within the next 30 minutes or so yeah and just in my opinion pete and damn yankee has the best kind of manly the tobacco kind of sense um so yeah it came out with the cedar tobacco vanilla which was the pipe tobacco um and then he's had some other ones that had cuban uh tobacco so it's a little bit more the peppery on it he had a uh, ab abuelito which i think means grandfather in um uh, uh spanish i think and that was a mm -hmm. kind of a limited run scent and then uh more recently he's come out with scott's collab there if you see a little, little scotty on there this one is panama and it's cedar wood again but this one has got the cuban tobacco in it so uh whatever kind of tobacco you may like uh there's one for you that pete's got yeah and this one's definitely a little bit more on the spicy peppery side that's what i, I wanted that's exactly what i wanted i wanted that bolder scent because uh what's his name um ben taft i i i, I had him one of my giveaway winners because I know he's a fan of the tobacco scents as well. And I wanted him to try my scent. And I was like, and I was like, I want you to review it. I got your message, Gary. And we do have, we're doing an oil and a butter giveaway of Cavendish of uh, oh, oil and butter. Thanks to Gary from uh, Chesapeake Beer Company for doing that. Gary's an awesome guy. He really is. I appreciate you doing that. Is that good right there, Scott? You like that? Actually, it's more like. I mean, you gotta get, you gotta, yeah, you gotta, see, you, you gotta feel it, you gotta feel it, you know. And if you watched our fall sense, uh, damn oh, 
four different fall scents and they are all amazing. Uh, I'll have to talk to uh, Pete to see what he's got and what he may have left. I hope he's still got stuff. But going on the theme of the pipe tobacco, this was one he came out uh, came up with last year, but he didn't have it out in time. So he had to wait all the way for a full year. This one's pumpkin and pipe tobacco. And it it is really, really good, deep and rich. And uh, the spice pumpkin stuff is really good on it. You may not be able to pick out that it's tobacco. It's just so rich and warm and pumpkin-y, uh, but it's really, really good. J.C. Marr has gone, he said himself, he's a great reviewer, great friend of mine. He said that he thinks that Bountiful is one of the best scents ever made. That And he, he said that. You know, to be honest with you guys, like seriously, when I started smelling tobacco scents, I always thought it was going to smell a different way. When you smell it inside of a beard oil, it smells so much better. I don't know why. It just, it really does. It, it, I like it. I, I didn't think I was going to the first time I smelled tobacco, but it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I, will, I, will, I will admit this. I will say this. Um, you guys you guys know that I've always been like the, the clean scented kind of guy for the longest time. And I can't lie. My my um, scent uh, preferences are literally I'm a tobacco guy pretty much all the way now. And Brian's picked up on it this entire year. I I show I jump ship. Tobacco is my thing. It's just such a warm, rich, manly scent. I, and I think even if guys aren't all the time when when cold weather hits. I mean, that's yeah. a, a great time for those kind of scents. Where is it? There it is. I, I have to agree with Gary that Pete is the tobacco king. Yeah, uh, tobacco king. Pipe bomb, pipe bomb is cherry and pipe tobacco and chocolate. And that's the only one that I don't care for. For me, the chocolate just kind of overpowers, and I'm just not a big fan of chocolate and beards. What you got there? My first ever damn Yankee bottle right here. What is it? There. Pipe bomb tester bottle. Yeah. <laughs> that was an amazing scent. It's so good. James Tennessee jumped in here. What's happening, James? Camo Cams jumped in here. Yeah, as Jay as Jay says, uh, damn Yankees tobacco scents just hit different. Than other people. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I will I will say there. You know, every company has their niche. What what they're what they're good at blending things in. Yeah, Pete is the the master of the king or the king of, of the tobacco. So, scents. Jason, I see that you say you didn't like tobacco scents at all. Is have you tried like is it just like the vanilla that's mixed with the tobacco, or is it the actual scent of the tobacco that you don't like? He's not a he's not really just a, a tobacco person at all. He never has been. I'm just into different sniffers. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look who we got. Holy cow, what's up, buddy? What is happening, my man? The man of the hour is in the building. Can you hear us, Pete? Hold up, hold up. The actual sign of the tobacco. Okay. Here we go. Can you hear us, Pete? I can't can hear us, Pete. Okay, cool. Yeah. Can guys, you hear me? if you don't know, yeah. hear you. guys, if you don't know who this is, this is the mastermind that we're talking about. This is Pete. He is the owner of Damn Yankee Beer Company and. Tell everybody what we are talking about tonight, Pete. Um, well, theoretically, we are talking about uh, Cavendish. Oh, there it is. Look at that. So this is one of the last new releases we're doing for 2019. There'll be like one more. Uh, but I wanted to get this one out there because it's getting into that season. Uh, you know, the weather's cooling down and this seemed like an appropriate time to do it. So... Um, yeah, it's, I'll tell you, I don't know how much time you've got, but I'll tell you how this started. So at the very beginning of 2019, um, I, I was chatting with a lot of you guys probably know Jay Furman, um, who is, uh, well known to a lot of us, but anyway, uh, pipe guy extraordinaire. And I was talking to him about making... Um, a beard oil or scent that was like an authentic pipe tobacco scent. 
I mean, one that was like, uh, didn't have, you know, leather or a bunch of other crap in it. I mean, it was all uh, just strictly pipe tobacco. And he sent me a sample of a tobacco called Blood Red Moon, um, which I have never heard of, but is a pipe tobacco that essentially is a blend of some different things. And um, I don't smoke, but I like the smell of it. And uh, so I started working on it and I got sidetracked a little bit with, you know, summer stuff and then some other stuff, but it's always kind of been on the, on the back burner. Um, and so now we're, we're ready to rock and roll. And uh, I really hope people dig it. I do. I, I just put it in beard and this is nice. This is what I like to say. And uh, Brian has picked up on my catchphrase. This is money. This is money right here. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely good. Well, uh, good. I, you know, it's it finishes kind of sweet, a little bit sweet. I, don't, I haven't put it in my beard yet. But in bottle, it does. Mm -hmm. so Pete, what is the sit profile we have working with with Cavendish? Um, okay, so Cavendish is. First and foremost, it is the same pipe tobacco scent that I used in Papa's chair. It's also in uh, cedar tobacco vanilla, and it's also in pipe bomb. Um, so if you have any of those already, this is so then the this same. Came to, um, to, like all the superfluous crap, and, and no, there's there there's no any other any other stuff um what is in there other than pipe tobacco the closest thing i can tell you is dried fruit um it's there, not tomatoes, there's a little people, bit of, not tomatoes. So, <laughs> no know. no it's um, it you'll pick up something vaguely fruity um mm -hmm. The closest thing I would I would uh, say that it's pretty close to like raisins or or something along those lines, um, which yeah. is going to sound weird, but together they they work really well. It's good. Uh, it's really good, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Tobacco. It's nice. It's Our nice. Sandwich. So Pete, you have everything ready to go and all everything. Yeah. I know you just sent us the oil. You got bombs and butters and all that stuff ready. I I do. Let me get out of the light here. There we go. Um, yeah. So it's going to be. Hang on just a second. I'm having a crisis here. Uh, <laughs> bomb, four ounce butter, two ounce butter, oil, all of that. So great. Wrong way here. Yeah, everything's backwards when you try to move. Jason, thank you for coming in, man. I appreciate you stopping by. It's awesome to hear from you, man. Oh, Jason, you see, you can't use Even vanilla? Better. That's like my favorite ingredient ever known to beard oils. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, man. <clears throat> One second. So how many thumbs up do we have in here tonight? Let's let's get some thumbs up on this on this live stream for beat, everybody. I felt it that time. Did you see that? I did. I felt that one. That was a good one. Um, <laughs> uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna be doing a giveaway. Thanks to Gary from Chesapeake Beer Company. He's giving away an oil and a butter tonight. Thank you very much for doing that. Appreciate it. And we're gonna have Pete pick the winner of that giveaway because it's he's making it. <laughs> oh, all right. Put put me to work. Yeah. Your beer's looking good, Pete. Now that I see you. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You got that nice round shape yeah, to it. A, uh, yeah, I tried to give it a little shape this time. I, I'm not a pro like like Dave, but um, you know, I try to not give a little. You know. Well, so let's just hope that Dave doesn't get a wild hair up the bunghole and literally just cut it off again. Because if he does. He will officially be un-American. I'm saying it now on camera. No, no. Uh, he, he I'm never going to see my chin ever again. It's never happened. That was a rough month, wasn't it, Dave? I could tell. Oh, my gosh, that. man. I miss it. Your, your patriotism is being questioned. <sighs> that was rough, bro. Like, I'm never again. 
<laughs> so how was your uh, how was your how was your um, birthday anniversary vacation thing you had going on there, Pete? Uh, you know, it was good. So uh, a couple weeks ago, I turned fifty. Um, so my wife and I went down to a place called Turks and Caicos, which is in the Caribbean, kind of wedged in between like Haiti, Dominican Republic down there. And, uh, it was good. It was good to be kidless for, you know, a few days and, and just lay on the beach and, and, uh, yeah, just, just kind of be for a few days and, and, you know, talk like adults to each other for once. And, and so it was, it was a lot of fun. Her birthday is the day after mine, so it's kind of a dual birthday trip. Now I have to ask this because of how many how many adult beverages did you have in this occasion? Too many. Uh, I mean, if you counted, you probably didn't have enough. It, it really can't be counted with a human number. I mean, it was uh, <laughs> yeah, quite quite a few, quite a few. But uh, you deserve it. But uh, well, I appreciate that. I, you know, it's. Uh, I've been around a while and we can figure, you know, go have some fun for a few days and come back. But, um, you know, and the nice thing about that place is they make it cheap for Americans to get there. Um, I think round trip tickets from Dallas directly there were like 400 bucks, which is nothing. Um, and, um, you know, they take U.S. dollars. Uh, they had Dr. Pepper, which was a plus. So, <laughs> so that was good. But uh, no, it was a good time. It was a good time, and so I'm, I'm happy to be back though. And and um, you know, it's finally turning into fall in in Texas, which means it's you know down to about 85, 90 degrees now instead of 105. That was so us today. Good. I drove home today from school with the windows down. It was awesome. Today <laughs> yeah. here up here in Pennsylvania, it my my thermometer on my car said it was like 52, 50 degrees, something like that. But I'm not gonna lie. The wind was blowing so bad. So it was definitely below 50 or 40 degrees today. With the wind blowing crazy. My wife and I every year look forward to hoodie weather in Florida. I mean, we get like three days, but it's mm -hmm. still three days of hoodie weather. I just realized I don't get on camera a lot. I just realized I got to put some cool shit behind me. Y'all have got some, like, you got some cool stuff in the background. I got like a white wall. I got to. I gotta up my game, up my video game. Oh, this stuff! I got, I got something. Look at that hat! Look at that! I know that hat is dope. That is a cool hat. Hopefully, yeah, that will be a swag item in 2020. Um, but Scott had two of those made, kind of as one-offs, and he's got one, and I've got the other, and I'm having to fight my wife to get it back. But uh, <laughs> well, if you go to order more, just tip me up, and I'll get it. Is on your head very well. There you go. There you go. I'm but yeah, holding no, that in case you guys can't tell. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying. This, you know, I can see that. You can see I that. Don't like, I don't like any one, hats either. I got one hat and one shirt. That's all I got from the company. But still, you got a guitar and a banjo. That makes up for it. That's right. I got. My, yeah, I got, man, you got the guitar and the banjo. I got Gibson Power behind me. I got a lefty. A lefty. <laughs> I got a lefty. <laughs> I got a palm tree. I got a left-handed guitar because I'm left-handed. Are you lefty? Yeah. I, I, I play guitar left-handed. I drum right. Correct. The correct way. I'm left-handed, but I play everything right-handed because left-handed instruments are too expensive. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. That, that, I'm with that, Brian. That. I'm actually left-handed as well, but I, I play right-handed. So. Dave, are you left-handed? No, I'm right-handed. You're the only one, man. You're the my only mom, one. my mother is left-handed, though. Okay. It is a proven fact that left-handed people are more creative than right-handed people. And also... I think we're smarter. I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, my mom, look what she made, bro. I mean, come on. <laughs> you are Hollywood. You are Hollywood. That is true. Dave, I'm wondering, do you have any plans yet for post-graduations? The countdown is on, I saw. Yeah, man, I've been putting that countdown up. It's it's And it's weird because you're like, you're talking to people in school and they're like, like Dave, you're going to be gone? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, Dave, you can't go. I'm like, what are you, I'm trying to get out of here. What do you mean I can't go? <laughs> you, put, you put the time and the work in, for that's for sure. You, oh, you man, man. every day, bro. Like today, I, I actually got my hair cut today because, you know, I get it cut once a week because this hair grows so fast. I, I don't get that. If your hair grows fast on your head, why wouldn't it grow fast on my beard? You know what I'm saying? 
we won't go there right now. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. that is a mystery. That is a mystery, right? It doesn't make any sense. But uh, maybe that's why it doesn't grow fast because I have so much head hair. That DHT is that what it's called? Yeah. I think it has something. To do with your middle name is Hollywood. The Hollywood part. Yeah. Okay. It's trying to make sure I have hair and not so much beard. I mean, you did shake your head for me. You did. I did. Did. It's that biotin that's turning Scott into a Sasquatch. Right. <laughs> oh, man. I will tell you, my beard is like super thick compared to last time. I can tell like the consistency and the way that it feels too. It's, I'm digging it. So this biotin, I think, is working too. Yeah. A lot of people, they have told me that, that my beard does look a lot healthier and a lot fuller since I've been doing this biotin journey. I can't argue with it. You know, I, I have to agree. Yeah, I'm curious. You have to admit, though, there there are some unintended consequences of that, and you know, I've been on biotin for I don't know, maybe six months or so, and I found that it's not real discriminating in terms of which hairs it makes grow. <laughs> um, you know, so I've got maybe a couple up here, there. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, man, I had to trim today. I was like, I thought it was my mustache because this thing's growing in quick. Like my mustache grows in really fast. And when it grew in, I was like, okay, it's just my mustache tickling my nose, right? And I looked at it today, and I was like, no. It's huge. I mean, I'm like, burnt, like trying to get them on. That, that could be a whole new beard competition category. Right. Like, yeah, I forgot the longest nose, nose hair with their mustache. <laughs> 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 braid it. Put it in a nice braid. There's good. actually that guy that was on Instagram. I don't know if you guys saw this. This guy actually had his nose hairs come out, and he did a handlebar with his nose hairs. <laughs> I'm not even making it up. I saw it. It was real. That sounds like a Sean P. reaction video right there. Right? Oh, I'm telling wow. you, man. I'm telling That's you. impressive and horrifying. It was crazy. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh. <laughs> is that Sean P., is that that Rage Against the Machine guy? Is that who that yeah, is? Right? <laughs> Sean P. <laughs> yeah. Who's, he, he's like missing in action. He's working. I can tell. Every once yeah, he's, he's, he's been really that. into that apprenticeship, man. He's, he's good for really him. Good. You know what? He worked for it and he deserved it. He did. Right, exactly. I was like, it's about time. That's the first thing I thought. I was so excited for him. Did you, did you all see that? Did you see it? I saw Brewski in his in his in his hand. I did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good little. Uh, oh nice. I would have one actually, but I can't just because I try not to drink too much through the week. I do not have any off camera. And when you see these cups, you know they're water. So. Don't have any tonight. I'm, I'm trying right. to. I'm trying not to. I started working out this week. I need to lose lose weight, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to stick to it. Yeah. It sucks. We're we're starting. You can laugh at me. I don't care. I started doing yoga with Mandy because it it works for her. But we. What kind of yoga is it? Is it the DDP yoga or? No, actually, she doesn't even like. She doesn't go to a class. She watches a lady on YouTube. Uh, what's her what's her name? Boho Beautiful. Her name is Julian something. Yeah, and I've heard she, of it. yeah. It works. She's been doing it since we've been together and it works for her. And we st I started yesterday because I we used it before. I haven't done it in years. It's gonna kill me in the end. Insanity. Whew. Oh boy. That is a hell of a hell of a hell of a workout, man. I mean, it's pretty insanity. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you Roger says yoga is good for your health for sure. So Pete, uh, you said you have one more thing coming out. I got to ask for later in the year. Is it going to be a secret or do I already know about this? Oh, uh, well, you know, all my secrets already anyway. Um, well, no, of course, we, I mean, we got to do the holiday set. Um, you already have it. Um, in fact, I don't think there's a bigger fan of this scent than Scott Magruder. But uh, yeah, no Christmas AF. Um, probably like right after right after Thanksgiving, uh, we'll be unleashing that. It is um, uh, if you're an essential oil person, I actually ripped the profile from Young Living. Uh, there I said it, but um, it is black spruce, sweet orange, and cinnamon. It's a Christmas tree and a wreath all in one with a naughty looking label. I think the label's hilarious. I, I thought that was awesome. He is <laughs> I was like, he and I are <laughs> So Pete, what's, but, the, uh, 
what's the status on the uh, on the fall scent? So that you still have them? Uh, yeah, no, those will be around probably through the end of the year. Um, you know, it's funny. I just I, I I realize that I'm not a good judge of what's going to go and what isn't. Like to me, so I've got the four, and right? I've got uh, thankful, bountiful, cheerful, and peaceful. And to me. The, what I thought was going to be the star of the show, nobody's actually bought. Um, so, which one's that? Uh, I thought Peaceful was going to do a lot better than it has. In mm -hmm. fact, um, I, I I'd be surprised if I'd sold a dozen of them at this point. But um, the one that I didn't expect is Thankful. So Thankful is cranberry, orange, and cinnamon. And um, it was kind of an afterthought, if I'm being honest. I wasn't sure if I was going to put it in that collection or not. And it turns out that one has turned out to be, I think, the most successful of the four. So, um, Mandy absolutely loves that one. That's her favorite. It smells like Hawaiian punch to me. Does it? Yeah. The red Hawaiian punch is what I get. Well, there it's you very, go. It's very fruity. Uh, when, you, when, you, when I saw it had cranberry in it, I thought it would be a little bit more of the tart bitter, but it's not. Mm -hmm. You like sweet, fruity scents? That is a great one. I like it. I do. It, it, it's the it is the strongest of the four. I will tell you that it's definitely the strongest. Really, I don't think it is. Um, is no, but in term in terms of newer, I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. This one's the probably the strongest that I found out mm -hmm. of them. cheerful, and it's probably the most surprising. I didn't think I would like it as much as I, I did. What's what's in this one? Pumpkin and bourbon. Um, yeah, so it's pumpkin spice and scotch. Okay, that's what it is. Um, it is so buttery smooth. Um, well, and so and the funny thing is, so that pumpkin spice mixture is actually all essential oils. Um, so the company that made it has stopped making it. Oh, wow. So I'm kind of scrambling to source it somewhere. Um, so if you like those scents, um, it's going to be bountiful and cheerful if you like those. Um, you might do those pretty soon because to be honest with you, I don't know that I can get that mixture moving forward. So we'll have to see. Well, I do know for a fact that Pete has said the the, the, the fall scents will be available till the end of the year. And you heard it from the man himself. Once as of now, once bountiful and cheerful are out or gone, he may not be able to get them back. And one of the only yeah, companies just, that offers those scents uh, also in a co-wash, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll be honest with you. Those co-washes kind of hit like a lead balloon here a couple weeks ago. I, I thought they were going to do well, and they really haven't done. Uh, they're still out there, but and they're available, but they're just really not moving, which is a bummer. Um, but you know, you live and you learn, and I'm not going to dwell on it. But um, they're definitely available if you like the sense. Um, so. We shall, uh, we shall see. Now, I've, and I've got one other thing planned um, that I'm trying to sneak into 2019, um, and that's a like a tattoo studio themed scent um, that I've been working on for a couple of months. I had some custom artwork uh, done for it from a guy in Canada, a guy named Ryan Engel. Um, he's on. Uh, Instagram here as well. Um, super talented tattoo artist. This guy's insanely, insanely talented. Um, and um, just decided to go like all blacked out. So the bottle's black. Um, the balm and butter tins are all going to be black. So it's it's kind of a kind of a rock and roll, you know, kind of a rock and roll scent. But uh, so we'll see how that goes over. Yeah, I have no idea what tattoo stuff smells like. <laughs> This Brian a, Haywood has his entire back I've covered in tattoos, y'all. He does. He just he won't show you. This is he the does. only sleeve I've got. It's on my shirt. <laughs> it's the only <laughs> sleeve I've got. He's got <laughs> here. Um, yeah, what is Columbia. the Columbia sleeve? In Cuban cigar tobacco sense. I'll let an, a man who makes them answer that question. Wait, I'm sorry. What now? What is it? What is the main difference between a pipe tobacco and a Cuban cigar tobacco scent? Oh. Um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, so, and it really just kind of depends on your nose. To me, pipe tobacco is almost floral. Um, I mean, it's definitely on the sweet side, um, a little bit earthy, a little bit floral. Um, 
the Cuban tobacco, like is in our collab scent, uh, Panama, um, that's a little bit on the spicier side. So it's, I almost get like a cinnamon kind of nutmeg vibe out of that. Uh, but again, it's a real subjective thing. Um, you know, and, but I think the main difference is that pipe tobacco is more of a sweet aroma and the Cuban tobacco is, is definitely more spicy. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot more in your face. The the Cuban tobacco is a little more peppery. Some mm -hmm. some companies their their Cuban blends can almost go towards a like a cologneish kind of thing. Yeah. in some instances, or a pipe tobacco, yeah. kind of a totally different animal. I said it in yeah. one of my live streams before that. To me, just in a comparison to me, a pipe tobacco is like a Folgers coffee, and a Cuban tobacco is more like a bold Colombian Brazilian type coffee, if that makes any sense. To anybody. Yeah. And this, um, so this Cavendish may be kind of my last go at a tobacco scent because I've got a lot of them. I didn't really sit back and take stock on it until recently, but I've got a lot of them that center around that. And, and I've gotten some feedback from some guys that are like, you know, I don't really like tobacco scents. Um, oh, and and that's, Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face. Well, you know, and that may be a misconception that some people have is that a tobacco scent, you know, that it's going to smell like, you know, cigarettes or, you know, something, something like that. It, look it, at him, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> Give him the side eye. Um, but, you know, it's, I didn't intend for, for a lot of my scents to kind of coalesce around that aroma, but it's just kind of worked out that way. I mean, Papa's chair. Uh, pipe bomb, cedar tobacco, vanilla, and now Cavendish. I mean, they all have that kind of central, you know, core component. So yeah, I'm going to keep making branch out a little bit in 2020 and do some different things. Um, man, I, want, I wanted a uh, pipe tobacco and peach for next summer, man. That was going to be my collab. I, I do custom blends. We could do a, you know, we could do a beard and banjo. G. Yeah. I just said that. Yeah, that would interesting. Pipe tobacco peach, yes. I I know for a fact that I know three people that we buy in that one. Me, Dave, and Jay Mark. <laughs> that sounds freaking awesome. Yes, it does. Sale <laughs> on that one, Pete. Is that worth it? You should call it Banjo Man. Call it Banjo Man, just for you. There you go. No, I'm still. I need to. I need to find a good peach oil. I've tried a few that smelled kind of just kind of sweet and sugary, but I, you know, that's kind of my benchmark uh, for, you know, finding new scents is that they smell real, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. um, like the apple that's in peaceful. I mean, I, I probably tried six or eight different apple oils and they all smelled like, you know, muffins or I don't know what they smell like some other stuff, but um, <laughs> it took me a while to find one that actually smelled like an actual apple. Um, yeah. I was gonna say that the real apple was real, man. If you've got a bushel basket of uh, Granny Smith apples, and you just stick your head down in the middle of the basket to smell it, that's what it smells like. Mm -hmm. So there you go. You heard it here first. To pipe tobacco and peach. <laughs> I have no idea if it smells good, but it sure sounds good to me. It does. It really it does. Face near you. I think I think that would be a really good scent, and and not to. Because I know you just said you want, we don't want to make any more tobaccos. That would be awesome. I don't think anybody awesome. has made that. Have you, I've never heard of anybody else have that profile. Yeah. Yeah, I don't that, think so. I think so. That's but. one thing I like. Uh, I do like about Pete's scents. Like like he said, all of his scents they don't smell fake. They all fake. smell they like are. real. Like, um, let me see. That's why he's the tobacco king because everybody else has a tobacco scent. And Port Isabel. Port Isabel is literally orange and black pepper. And I can smell both of them in here. And it doesn't smell punchy, it doesn't smell fake. It uh, literally smells like a fresh orange. Mm. That's awesome. I, you know, it, it, it may be just a lack of skill on my part that I can't combine more than two or three oils and make it smell decent. I, you know, because I know some of these, some of these makers that'll put like, you know, six or eight or ten different different scents into their into their beard stuff, and I, I just once I get to that stage, if I can't smell each thing individually, I, I kind of wonder, you know, at that point, why I'm putting that stuff in there in the first place. 
Yep. Yeah. And I'm sure the other guys will agree. Sometimes that works when you put all that together, but a lot of times it, they're misses for me. It's just like too much going on, too many things that don't aren't supposed to be going together, trying to mix hey. it. Yeah. Hey, Brian, uh, Jabir to Joe, you hook them, said try peach, brown sugar, and pipe tobacco. Uh, that sounds pretty good to me. There you go. That's so good. You know, hey, you know, just as a side note, too, I mean, uh, uh, I've got a couple of scents that were originally ideas from customers. Um, Nightlight came, that idea came from a customer. Uh, Nightlight, I don't do it anymore, but it, it was uh, cedar, lavender, and vanilla. Oh, that's um, good. And that idea came from uh, a guy named Brian who was wearing cedar tobacco vanilla when he was giving his daughter a bath. And he was using that Johnson's like lavender baby shampoo. And somehow it just kind of got up all up in there together. And, and he had a had an epiphany and DM'd me and the rest is history. Cool. Nightlight is a really, really good nighttime scent. I will isn't, that, isn't that freaking cool how that happens? Like you don't even try and all of a sudden you and another person like make something amazing. You know what I mean? That's so cool. I It, it is. And. You know, then those ideas come in from time to time. And I mean, I, I welcome it because I, you know, because I'm out of ideas. <laughs> no, but, uh, no, I mean, I, I welcome I welcome that because, you know, you they could be sitting on something that, you know, that a lot of other people would enjoy. And, and so there you go. What is your number one selling uh, scent? CTV. Um, number one selling scent by a pretty fair margin is Pipe Bomb. I figured it would be. Yeah, I yeah. win. <laughs> I'm surprised. I love, I, I I love thinking, Pipe Bomb. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> I have one of the I have one of the rarest bottles of it though. I oh, have the Doom. Oh, Look at this. The original label. I remember when he did that. I remember when you did the um the co-wash release too, wasn't it? I think it was. This was uh he went with a the Doom video game theme. I remember yeah, I tried to do like a like an eight eight bit graphic kind of um, yeah. The only uh, the only other person two of those testers went out. You've got one, and Dan C's got the other. Um, he did not care for that scent much. In fact, uh, he messaged me. This was back in like I don't know February or March when it came out. He messaged me and said that he opened it, and his wife could smell it like three rooms over. So he just closed it back up and. And uh, put it away. So, well, there you go. It's not for everybody. And he's not a tobacco scented uh, fan, uh, pretty much of any kind. So, and and that and that goes to tell you, you know, not everybody's going to like. You know, we we we've all said it countless times. So, <laughs> he's not a tobacco fan. That's fine. Pipe tobacco and blueberry. Maybe. Blueberry. Well, you know. Um, uh, Boston's got pipe tobacco and strawberry. Yeah, he and does. One of my yeah, the Sinatra. That's Sinatra. Yeah, I bought that one a few months ago. That one is phenomenal. I wouldn't have put those two together in a billion years, but they smell so good. Yeah, yeah that's one of my favorite scents for sure. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about your bombs here. I got the original uh, CTV, the old school stuff, and it seems to be a lot firmer than what you've come out with lately. I like the firmer stuff. With me. Yeah, so I, you know, it took me a long time to hit on a recipe that I liked. Um, so, like the the first ones that came out were a little bit waxier. Yeah. Uh, smooth, than, than I'm doing now. What's that? I said that the, uh, it's still very very smooth. There's no grit in the old school bomb that I've got. Um, yeah, so I, I melt it down completely. Um, and the same thing holds true with, with beer butter. So shea butter in particular, not every, not all the components of shea butter melt at the same temperature. That's where the grit comes from. So um, when, you, when you get a shipment in of beer butter that's gritty, most likely it's because it partially melted, but not all the way. Not all the components have gone liquid. Um, and likewise, if you don't, uh, if you don't cool it quickly, it'll the same thing will happen. Um, the The components will not uh, come back together evenly. So, um, 
yeah, I try. I, so I try to heat it completely, liquefy it completely, and then cool it down as quickly as I possibly can. And, and um, I think it results in a in a fairly smooth, fairly smooth mixture. Yeah, it's very smooth. I've getting I've gotten no grit from any of the bombs I've ever tried from you. I've been, you know, and the funny thing is, I don't know that I'll ever perfect it. I've been I, so I've spent most of 2019 growing my stash, right? And I don't know if you can see, but I mean, it's it's getting out there a pretty fair amount, and and uh, I, I I need to start using some wax, otherwise my my wife is just going to stop kissing me entirely. She's not a fan, and um, you start. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we need some tips from Mrs. Beard and Banjos. No, <laughs> yeah, she's shaking her head. She's not a fan. Um, so I've been working on trying to make a stash wax, and it's just. I don't know what it is. Mustache hairs do whatever they want. They don't listen to anybody for nothing, and it's just kind of all up in here. You have a, you have the perfect tester for that for that wax right there. That's the guy I always yeah. refer to anybody. You got a, you want a mustache wax? Call Brian. That's what I always say. Talk yeah. to Brian. And I used every kind of wax that that guy has recommended. So yeah, <laughs> I even have like the old school people that used to talk about all the time the stick like the chapstick style yeah, yeah. and, and yeah. Pete, i will tell you one of my favorite mustache waxes is very similar to this original balm this kind of mm -hmm. white, this white consistency and the way this feels except obviously firmer than that so if you mm -hmm. consider going back to that and tightening that up a little bit you get some mustache wax oh uh, <laughs> it, really, it really is a, it's a balancing act Mm -hmm. um, it's a balancing act between oils and shea butter and wax and and because I mean I heard from guys on both sides of that issue I heard from guys who said you know I don't like a hard hold I don't want my beard to feel crusty which I totally get and at the same time I also heard from guys who are like you know I need something that's gonna you know tamp it down for you know, day when I'm at work or whatever. So it's, it's real hard to short of making multiple kinds of bombs, like a hard hold and a medium hold. I mean, I think it's hard to do it with just one and please everybody. I mean, and you just can't, you just can't please everybody. It's no. not going to happen. Right. I mean, you right. try your hardest, but the best thing you can do is just have kick butt Pete customer service. You know what I mean? That's why I don't day. like anybody. I, you know, I don't please. I don't try to please anybody but Pete, Brian, Dave. Well, I you know. I, so I I did something back in February around Valentine's Day, um, where I did a balm that had like a really hard setting wax right in the middle, and then a softer setting balm around it, and. I still think that's a viable idea if I can perfect it. So basically you've got like a hard setting balm in one tin and then a soft setting balm in the same tin. Yeah, just you know what I'm saying? Cool. Yeah, I still think that's a good idea. I just, I'm trying to figure out how to make it work. Pete has another idea along those lines that he and I have talked about before and I'm not going to give it away. I'll let him do it. But if, it, if we do it, I'm just going to say this peanut butter and jelly, something of that nature. And you'll be like, holy cow. But that's not the same. I'm just saying, if you, if you, if you follow me, you know what I'm saying. And you'll be like, that's genius. Which, which I hear so seldom in my regular life that that'll be a nice change. Right. Agreed. <laughs> Super late to the show. What have you missed? John Gomez, what you have missed is this guy right here is the owner of Damn Yankee Beer Company, Pete, and he, we are releasing Cavendish tonight. This is a tobacco scent, an actual pipe tobacco scented product. It's a pipe tobacco and like a dried fruit, not tomato. Mm -hmm. Make sure everybody knows that, not tomato. Uh, Dave, do a beard shake for us. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's, that's... Look at the Whoa, flocks. Look, look at the waves. Look at the Wait. waves. Wait Quit for beating it. me up with that thing. Quit beating me up with it. Yeah, y'all are scared, I know. It's cool. I think I can do one now. Wait, 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 wait. 
Remember? That's it. That's if y'all watched my videos, you saw it's official. Yeah. <laughs> You got to see if you can stick a pencil in there and get it to stick. See, y'all trying to do like games and stuff now. I'm just saying, I got to, I got to, it's coming back. <laughs> see, no, yeah. where you have it now? How many? <gasps> oh my goodness, that's impressive. See, if you if you want to be like, if, if someone wanted to be like, like a smart ass about it, they'd be like, well, you must have some snags in there if you hold a pencil in there. I, I can see it now. <laughs> you can't so even you brush your. your so how long has it been growing back since you shaved? Uh, it is two months on uh, Sunday. Go back and look at that video that I that when, you, when I did the beard advice series on you. I, I did, did actually. Guy. That's weird you say that. I just yeah, did. That was in four months, and I have those pictures you sent me, and your your cheek lines higher, and you have about the same level. Of and beard it's coming. And it, like I said in the video, it's not doing any justice because you can't like the video is not showing this, but it's definitely growing over the top and in. You know what I mean? Gary's so, calling you out, Brian. There's wax on that pencil. I think he was talking to me. I think he was talking to me. My, my, that pencil disappeared in mine. So now, my I mustache. Gotta ask, I got to ask you, Brian, talk about your uh, bearded series. Has mm -hmm. any bearding product company's owners asked you to do a, a, an advice series? That would be awesome. I did one on Barden. Oh, that's you right. That's yeah, Adam. Right. Did, that's yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, I was trying to think if there was another one. That might be the only beard company owner. But yeah, I think that's the only owner. Hey, the person with the thumbs down, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate you. Keep hating. You're awesome at it. Thank you. <laughs> Gary said I could hold a two by four in mine. Actually, I don't have a very I don't have a very good underbeard, believe it or not. It's all smoke and mirrors and so so my yeah. wife said, Brian, one night she was watching when you were on. I think you were on a live stream with like the the uh the, the other thing that you beard do with trends. the beard yeah. trends. Yeah, beard, yeah, beard trends. trends, yep. And she looked at your beard and she's like, Does he color his beard? And I'm like, No. I, I bet I get that once a month. She goes, she goes, yeah, right. I said, no, seriously, like there's just the gray line, and she he picks it up, and it's it, yeah. See, <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> she's it's like that is so cool. Awesome. She really digs it. She thinks it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. don't you, Mo? I have beard envy. She has beard envy. <laughs> Gary says giveaway time, so we're doing a giveaway. Thank you to Gary from Chesapeake Beer Company for. Giving away an oil and butter of Cavendish. And Pete, you scroll through the uh, comments and you pick a winner. We ask one question, one request of the winner. Do a review on the website and on your social media. Wait, where, where do I see the comments? Oh, here we go. Hang on. Working on it. And this is for the Cavendish. It's not a, a winner's choice. So keep that in mind, guys. I'm sorry. What was the question? There wasn't one. Listen, you just you pick a winner. You pick a random person. Hey, Brian, did you see that it's growing down my neck too now? I see that. That's nice. It's crazy, right? Yeah. I don't get giddy at all talking about it. No. Nope. As, as he's scrolling through, I don't know if you've ever watched the uh, the Kaz, the guy that's on the other. Uh, yeah. Anyway, he just posted a video uh, and he was uh, interviewed a set of twins and one guy, one of them did minoxidil and the other one didn't. It's really cool to see how one's got like a great beer and the other one's not there yet. <laughs> how about the first person other than my wife to uh, comment on uh, who Cavendish was named after? I do not know. Oh, you Name were a real person. I How's do that? not know. I think I know the person who will get that. But mm -hmm. I, I honestly, I don't know the answer to this question either. So I, I Pete's gonna Pete will know the answer to that. This this is the person that uh, Cavendish Pipe Tobacco was named after. Mister Lux, Mr. Henry. Lux, favorite uh, pipe tobacco is Cavendish. Yeah, it is. That's right. That is right. I forgot that. Phone call right in the middle of this. William Cavendish. What if you don't have social media? Henry Cavendish. If you have a YouTube channel, you have a social media platform. There you go. 
Mm, if, you, if you were to watch a video, you could make a video. Jay Furman. <laughs> it is, he says named after Jay Furman. Jay Furman, that's funny. <laughs> Here in America says named after Brian Haywood. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. It's on the internet. <laughs> the World Wide Web is at your fingertips, boy. And remember, people, everything you re read on the internet is true. Every bit of it. All of Especially it. when it says Scott Magruder on it. And the fact that uh, a celebrity died and they're, and they're posting on social media that same day, they are definitely dead. Yep. Franklin. Mm. Bitch says Franklin. Henry Cavendish. Beard stuff with Wilbur Thomas Cavendish. Do you want to know the name or what the, who the person was kind of thing? Mm. We might have to move on from... Oh, wait. Hang on. We got it. We got it. Hang on. Let me see who had it first. Uh... I believe the first person to have it was. I see if it's the same one I got. My beard loves you. Yep, that's what I had. Yep. Thomas yep. Cavendish. Thomas Cavendish. Do you know who he was? That is correct. Actually, that is it correct. was Sir Thomas Cavendish. But you, yes. Oh, you. okay. Sorry, my beard <laughs> loves you. You didn't put Sir in front. <laughs> What if you uh, so D DM, uh, DM me on Instagram um, at Damn Yankee Beard and give me your info and I will uh, I will we'll make it happen. And thanks to Gary from Chesapeake. Congrats. My Beard Loves You won that one. So that's JW. He's from Florida. That's awesome, man. He 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 was doing reviews for quite a while. He has done one for a very long time. Great YouTube channel. Where awesome in Florida guy. is he? I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think, I think you're Jacksonville, I think. I think you oh, okay. Do you know today? Okay, you probably wouldn't know today. But hey, wait a minute. Your I, wife, uh, hold on. Wait a minute. Your wife is saying Leonardo had it. Well, on, on my screen, My Beard Loves You has it first. Yeah, he was first. I'm, yeah. I'm going to scroll up just to see. Yeah, he was it, one. It, it's my Beard Loves You. Yeah, it's 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 JW from Florida. Yeah, no. Congratulations, man. Way to win stuff. Especially awesome stuff like that. <laughs> there you go. Uh, oh, and a quick note. You know, I posted about it earlier. Um, so Cavendish, the oil, uh, is going to ship out with an orifice reducer and a cap. Sounds okay. Um, but It'll have a, one of these people, one of these. Cap. Because you guys don't know what they are. Yes. It's called a drip top cap, Pete. <laughs> I, just like say, I just like to say orifice. We don't want to talk about orifices on the, the live, you know. Scott might get uh, so Cavendish is also <laughs> the oil is also going to ship with a with a dropper as well. So hey, uh, if you're one of those, I'm like reducer cap guys, and I got you covered. In the swag box too. Hey Pete, uh, Pete um, Gary says give one to Leonardo on him as well. So we have a second winner, another giveaway from Gary and Chesapeake. Okay. Ooh. Okay, sweet. And I, and I think Leonardo just ordered from me not too long ago. So uh, if you're still on, yeah, uh, DM me as well, and and we'll uh, I'll get one coming your way. Awesome. Yeah, they do come in a box like this, which is cool. I think it's a very nice touch. They said it comes with the resistor reducer limiter orifice dropper topper and a regular top dropper top or um. Yep. That way. Restrictor top. So the box is, it's got to be more aggravating for you and it's going to cost you more money, right, Pete? But I guess it'll keep, um, I guess it, it might so, be a little bit shelf life because it'll keep the light out and that kind of thing. The, the, I got to, I got to be honest with you, lining up the labels on those boxes, I love y'all to death, but it's a complete pain in the ass. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Uh, I believe it. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy to do it though, and and I uh, just want to do something different, you know. I just um, if you've gotten something from us before, you know, I've just kind of wrapped it up in a little bubble bag. But you know, I I kind of wanted to do something a little a little fancier this time around. So, um, ooh, Pete, that, Mr. That's you sent. 
the tattoo scent coming up is also going to be going out in a box like that. So we're just trying the to label. The label looks nice and fancy. It does. Yeah, yeah. You're getting all fancy pants on us, Pete. Jeez. Well, if by fancy pants you mean I ripped an image off the internet and put it on a label, then yes. Yes, it's fancy. And tell us, how did Captain Hook die? <laughs> uh, I was wondering if anybody was going to catch that. I, I told Mandy, she was she laughed her ass off when she said when I told her that. I, said, what? I put it, I put a teeny tiny little pirate joke on the label. I didn't think anybody would see it. I just did it for my own entertainment. And uh, so I'm glad somebody caught it. Gary, be safe on your drive home. Thank you for both giveaways. Greatly appreciate that, man. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, Gary, you know, there there is no bigger supporter of, of damn Yankee Beard Company than than Gary Lewis. So um I, I'm you know, I'm thankful because I couldn't compete against him, so I'm glad he's on my side. If if it wasn't for Gary, I would have never known about him. He called me. He's like, Hey, you gotta check this company out, blah, blah, blah. And then he says, You got Oh, I, I got your private chat, Dave. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, you said it a few minutes a little bit ago, yeah. and then uh, he and then he's like, "Dude, you got because Gary got the pipe bomb first. He says you got to get this." Yeah, all three of us in here can, can condone that. It's it's awesome. If I remember remember right, Scott. This is the one that uh, I won on your live stream, right? That got me back into making more videos and reviews because I just got really disgruntled and frustrated with. Uh, what was going on or not going on on my channel. And then I want a giveaway. Yeah, yeah, those giveaways do suck you back in, don't they? Yeah, I do remember that, what you said in that video. I do. Yeah. There Just are when I thought I was out, I got pulled back in. Uh, stay tuned, I'll tell you more about it. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> there, are, there are confirmed cases of pipe bomb bringing couples together. You know? <laughs> my not wife very many, but... Man. Loves it, you know. So, your results may vary, but Camo Cam Camo Cam won a CTV. Yes, he did. I think you were in that video as well. It was a live stream I did, and I will let you guys know. Uh, uh, actually, Pete, I uh, I haven't had a chance to tell you this yet. There's going to be an all star live stream in December. It's not a date yet, but Pete will be a part of my uh, giveaway for that company. With uh, the All Stars, I think you know what I'm talking about, Pete. I do. Yes, it's going to be uh, the Bearded Shark. It's going to be Dave Bearded Motivation, Scuba, Dancy Bearded, Matt from No BS Beard Reviews, and some smart ass Beard Times with Scott. They're all going to have a live stream coming up in December, and I think we're having 30 giveaways from all of us together. Wow, y'all are filling it up. Six people on there, killing it. Yeah, okay. and. Uh, you can Pete, have. Uh, I talked to Pete about it before, and uh, Pete had said he would definitely do the giveaway for that one. So he's my sponsor yeah. company for that. It's one. huge. I was even telling the guys at school at barber school about this, and they were like, <laughs> "They're like, yeah, how many? Don't have a date yet, anybody? So don't. Uh, we'll let you know as soon as we find out. But it's not going to be Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, but in December sometime. It's going to be our Christmas giveaway to everybody." And we want to. We're we're shooting for two to five hundred people. We want to have a really big live stream. That's the that's the big that's the big plan. You know that on December twelfth, that Thursday, you could do the twelfth day of Christmas and call it like and have a December twelfth. And there you go. Who is, this, who is this guy down here? Like talking like he's he knows stuff like. He he claims to be a teacher. I mean, I, I was just going to say that, but I didn't want to go there. I mean, I, I I didn't I didn't really go I didn't go past third grade in school anyway. So <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, I got my education. I'm good. No, but uh, six six uh, YouTubers, six content providers, whichever you want to call them, call all of us. Six bearded companies. I think it's going to be an awesome thing. Yeah. The twelfth day of Christmas, scuba gave to me. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, we're gonna be doing that in December. We just um I actually found out about it today. So I don't know any more information other than it's coming. But the barber guy, the barber guy, that guy right there. Yeah. I got to point the right direction. 
He's going to be in it as well. Yeah, point the wrong direction. <laughs> as as Dave is sitting there talking to someone on his cell phone, you know, just saying. He's, he's putting down December 12th on the calendar. That's he probably it. is. <laughs> I got things to sign, too, you know. It's not easy being Hollywood. That is true. He is. He is Hollywood. He is Hollywood. It's all that guy's fault, by the way. Yeah. Well, so our winners tonight were JW from My Beard Loves You and Leonardo. I don't want to butcher your, your last name. So we have two winners tonight, courtesy of Damn Yankee Beer Company. Actually, technically sponsored by Gary Lewis from Chesapeake Beer Company. But Kevin, I got to tell you guys, and, and I don't, and I don't hype up. Pro, is Old Spice going to be there? More than likely, yeah. I think that's Scuba's company. I think that's who he's going with. Old Great. Spice. <laughs> no, nah, but seriously, this is a really, really, really good set, you guys. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. And the ingredients, in case you're wondering. All organic, jojoba, sweet almond, argan, coconut, and hemp seed in a fragrance oil blend. It's a really, really, really good take on a tobacco scent. It's like I don't even know what Cavendish smells like. So I'm going to have to go and try to smell it in a tobacco shop. But I'll take this with me and I'll tell the person there, smell this. And they'll probably look at me like I'm stupid. And I'll be like, I want to find this. I want to find this. Mm. Smell my beard. I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore. Just Mandy. And that, I don't that's why they call the cops. Do it every day. No, I don't do it. Don't smell me, bro. <laughs> Can you guess what's in my beard right now? Uh, JW, the, just so you know, that means you do have to make a review because you, you have a history of making product reviews. Again, just when you thought you was out, I pulled you back in, just like I did. That guy right there. Yeah, that guy. JC yeah. Mar just made a comment about the golden palm tree. See? See, people, people, you can't really pay attention to just this and this beard down here. You got to look all around because I already have a giveaway lined up or a question. I have something new that's on the wall, and I want to see if people are paying attention. There's something I added to the wall behind me. Is that crazy, George? No, no, no. That's the, the picture is my daughter's artwork, actually. <laughs> that's cool. I like that. <laughs> I do I need I to do myself. one on the website, too? Uh, a written review, if you wouldn't mind, JW, please, if you wouldn't mind. Did you say written review? You write a review on uh, companies' websites. Oh, yeah, you yeah, have yeah. That often, don't you, Pete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I do that once in a while. Yeah. I think you have that option on the website, don't you, Pete? Review? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's an option that I wish more people would take advantage of. No, that that's the catch, Camo Cam. I'm not zooming in. This is a test to see how many of you all actually watch. I'm pretty sure it's all my, the stuff or whatever that is um, right in front of the picture because that's what, new. What? All the bombs and stuff. No, or, no, no, or, no. No, no. Okay. No, well. there's something on the back wall that's new. You can see it. What's right underneath Bob Ross? There was like a little plaque of something or another. There's the winner. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, why would that be it? <laughs> I can't even read it. It says man cave. <laughs> nice. Man cave. All right. Cool. Man cave. That's dope. I like that. It's 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 actually it's it's um cast iron. <laughs> My beard loves you. Five hundred word essay. No, that was in July. <laughs> <laughs> that was July. <laughs> and the, uh, the funny thing is, Brian, he, he edited and graded all of them for me. <laughs> and the spelling was atrocious. I told you. I mean, people think, oh, just they don't have to uh, capitalize anything. They use commas wrong. I mean, I'm telling you, third grade English, it's all you need. <laughs> They're using their thumbs on the text. John Gomez, thank you for tuning in, man. Greatly appreciate you stopping in. That's awesome. Whew, I'm about done myself. How about you boys? What's that? I'm about ready to go to bed myself. I, I'm going to hop off here myself anyway because I got a busy day tomorrow and I got to pick up my kids. It's my weekend with the kids, so it's going to be a good weekend for me. What about you guys? 
I have no idea what I'm doing. You got a show, Pete? Or are you? Uh, or is the music? Uh, yeah, I got, a, I got a double header this weekend, so I'm playing tomorrow night and uh, and Saturday night. So I'll be in on the, Saturday night. Right. In the booming metropolis of Watauga, Texas. I, I wish you would. I wish you would broadcast it so I could watch it because I know you did the one. I just missed it the last time. Uh, well, you know the reason that I can't. <laughs> um. It, so new band in January, and I'll definitely do those because those guys actually have talent. But um, oh. yeah, so Ooh, we'll be wow. we'll be getting it going on there. Man, Words were spoke, things were said. Wow. No. <laughs> I, I, I I stream as much as I can. No, the Peter sent he sent me some footage of of, of the tunes he plays. Pete can sing. Really, really well, you guys. Two words: purple rain. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> hey, man. We have to do a guy, I'm from Minnesota, so I know all about it. <laughs> he sent me there a clip go. of him playing "Purple Rain." I was like, "Wow!" I was oh, impressed. Really cool, man. I used to go to First Ave all the time. Prince owned it, yeah. So we'd go over there all the time. That's there awesome. you go. That that movie. Uh, I don't think none of you guys are old enough, but that movie uh, when it came out in '84. Uh, that's pretty much what got me into the the, the music part, and, and uh, still going. Here we are, what uh, almost forty years later, still going. So yeah, yeah. So I gotta I gotta ask uh, Pete any final words on Cavendish. Cavendish, um, if you if you like tobacco scents, um, you will like Cavendish. Um, they're it is just pretty much straight up pipe tobacco. There's not a whole lot of other stuff in there to muck it up. It's there's not like leather or any cherry or or any amber or oak moss, whatever the hell that is. I don't even know. And there's not a whole lot of other stuff in there to to muck it up. If you like tobacco scents, you'll like it. If you don't, you're probably not going to dig it. Um, so it really just kind of depends on the person. Um, so. Yeah, if if you're if you're a tobacco guy, definitely try it, and uh, you know, and if you don't like it, we'll figure something out. <laughs> I know Brian is a fan of this because he's been talking about it. I know I have been. This is this is good. It's it's good because instead of instead of making it his own scent, which which is good a good thing, he went and tried to take his to spin on an actual tobacco itself. I think it's really cool. Yeah, it's excellent. Uh, very, very smooth. Yeah, I, I, I use okay. that. I, I use that term a lot, but it, it, you know, if it's smooth, it's smooth. You just know you're like, man, that's yeah. smooth. Well, Panama is not smooth because it's the Cuban and it's the spicy and the, you know, that's it, just totally two totally different things. Yeah, Panama is kind of a face punch of tobacco, whereas this is more of a, you know, this is a little bit, yeah, a little bit lighter. He just said it's a Scott kind of scent that'll punch you right in the freaking schnoz. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, it, it's like a Ric Flair chop to the, the beer. That's what it is. I will say this. Yeah. I will say this. Panama, out of, out of all the stuff that I've done in the last year and a half, I've never made a scent that lasts longer. I don't know how it happened. It wasn't anything I did. It was just, that's just kind of the way it worked out. And I mean, I I can tell I've you had exactly Panama where I, can, where I can still smell it the next day. I can tell you why. I've, I've had it where I woke up the next the morning bottle. and I still it. Is. It's that face on the bottle. That's what it is right there. The face on the bottle. <laughs> do, you, do you have a favorite scent or is it just too hard to, to pick because you love them all on their labors of love? Oh, of mine? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's really hard to say because I I mean I think if I just had to choose one and wear it all the time, probably cedar tobacco vanilla. Me too. Um, yeah, I think overall I think that's the best balance. Yeah, I mean, and yeah, I, I mean, would there's say other ones that I like better. What's that? I would have to say either that or Port Isabel that like I could wear all the time. I, I really like Port Isabel too. Cool. Amanda, says, Amanda says, "Woo!" <laughs> I mean, 
bright lights, big cities, pretty ladies. And I'm not talking about Hollywood either. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I married well above my station. I don't know why she agreed to it, to be honest with you. But, hey, moment of that. Questions, Pete. We just roll with it. I, I, I'm all, I'm yeah. not the same thing. I don't know why Mandy even like gave me the time of day because well, I'm like on, a that, dude, that woman is like a female version of you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a moron. You look identical. <laughs> well, she digs me. What can I say? Doctor cracks me up, okay. man. Oh, Ladies uh, like projects, so sometimes they like fixing, fixing, or fixer uppers. Here's hoping. Here's hoping they never come to their senses. Right there with you. I'll drink my water. My, I'll drink my All water. Right. I don't have anything to drink. All right. Oh. Is that a wrap? Yeah, I, think, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this a night. Because it's quarter after eight. It's actually an early night for us. But you know what? I'm going to take advantage of it and get to bed early. Get to see my kids and keep me good time tomorrow. But before we go, I, I do want to say I, I wanted to make this night all about as damn Yankees as much as I could. But I do have to talk about this here in uh, less than two weeks. I'm doing a big live stream for Gary. And I got to do it for him for the – help me out here, guys. I got a brain fart here. French Crush. The French, French Crush, Crush Araya. We're going we're to be doing that uh, Wednesday, October 30th, not a Thursday. And I don't really have any plans on it. I know Gary's going to be in here. Uh, but we're, we're doing 100. Hey, Emo, thanks to see you come in, man. Uh, we're doing a, we have a hundred uh, tubs of the French crushed butter. We want to try to sell all these out by, for the live stream. And Gary has already said, if we do sell all 100 tubs of butter, he will do one of those bo uh, boom box. Boom box. Yeah, he's going to do it live, on, live or whoever, wh whoever purchases one, you will be entered in the giveaway. And I will make the announcement of that as well. But I got, I got to, I got to talk about that. Cause that is a, that's a big thing for a little girl. Absolutely. It's huge. If anybody, you know, you're, 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 you're helping the cost. I mean, literally it's going to be roughly what, $25 including shipping. And that girl gets all that money. So you're helping out everybody. I'm buying one even, and I'm getting one sent to me for the video, for the live stream, but I'm buying one myself. Yep. I had to at least mention it. Cause when is that live stream? Wednesday, October 30th, because uh, Halloween's a Thursday. I probably will be with my kids for Halloween. So. Yeah, me too. So I'll probably do, I'm going to do the last uh, Beer Times live stream Wednesday night. Now, that's the goal. We want to try to sell all or not. I don't want to force it down people's throats, but I'm going to try to sell 100 tubs of butter. That's what that's what Gary's goal is. We're going to have to figure yeah. out something for this one guy that's graduating barber school on like the 13th of next month. I you think there be, might be, you need there might have, we might have to have some kind of party or something. I don't, I'm just saying. Well, well, what, well, what we can do because Pete likes to drink beer on camera because he's doing it right now. I mean, I'm prone to drinking bottles of whiskey on camera because I, I think I've done it quite a few times. Brian, he is American, but he doesn't drink that much. I don't know if I can hold him. I mean, he. We may have to get him a wine cooler or something. You know, spike his punch, something. Ooh, I could get O'Doul's, huh? He's in North Carolina. He's probably got a still out back the house. O'Doul rules. I'll just play my banjo. I'll be the entertainment. Right. <laughs> Who's that guy? Yeah, that see, we, see, we we Who's have there? we have a banjo player. We have a singer. We have a drummer. You could be the triangle player right there. Damn. I could be the hype man. Cowbell. I have. Oh man! Oh, he says shameless self plug. Dead. When when will, when will these be uh, starting to ship out for people who have bought them, Pete? Uh, really, just need probably like no later than midweek next week. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I know. All people always ask you when when will that when will they be shipping? I'm like probably in a few days. You know because. Some people they they think you know you're you're gonna have it right there on the spot. I'm like some do, some don't. You know, be patient. There you go. I'll go. I'll go get some of those pills from the truck stop, so I'll be up for a couple of days. <laughs> uh, 
I think it's meth. I don't think it's pills. I think it's what, are those, meth. Just, what are they? The, the stackers? Is that what they are? The stacker I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Bull. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. It was a great time. Pete, thank See you that. for uh, making Good. another awesome product. Because you don't see it there. You're killing it, man. You really are. Well, I'm glad that was awesome because the rest of them are going to be shit. You'll see. I love, I love it, Pete. You're amazing. Just a joke. Just a joke. So anybody, right. anybody, go subscribe to Bearded Motivation. Go subscribe to Beards and Banjos, and subscribe to Damn Yankee Beer Company. He does have one really good video on remelting your butters down, and I've referred a lot of people to that video. It's a really good video, and you got to watch it. Yeah. yeah, I'll try to do more in 2020. We'll see. Everybody keep on bearding. I will see you next week. Have a good weekend. See you guys. Stay positive.